Hi, this is Brian Nelson with the Expert Advisors Group at Keller Williams, and we're here to have a quick video about landscaping. Now, as you buy a new home, or if you're a seller that's getting ready to sell your home, you may be considering landscaping the home. So there's a couple of really important details that you want to go over. Having a degree in landscape architecture and land development myself, it's near and dear to my heart. And so some things you want to consider when landscaping is, should we be planting shrubs? How close should we plant those to the house? Another one is mulch versus rocks. Another important topic is annuals versus perennials. It's very confusing, they sound the same, and sometimes you just have to Google it to figure out the difference between the two. So first and foremost, shrubs. Something to consider, and I covered this on another video that you'll wanna watch, is there's a tag on every plant you buy. Whether you go to your big box store and you're going to your home improvement store to purchase it, or you go to a landscape yard where you have an arborist or a landscape professional that can give you their opinion on it, you wanted to first determine, am I looking just for a shrub for a hedge line or am I looking for something that's gonna bloom? Something to consider if you have children or pets, are any of the seeds or any of the blooms poisonous to animals or children? Something like a sago palm can kill a pet. So that's something you wanna take into consideration if you have a puppy that eats everything, sago palms can be very dangerous. So when you're looking at shrubs, you wanna take a look at that tag, or talk to your arborist, find out what their growth pattern is. You don't want a tree that's gonna get 10 feet wide planted next to three others that are only a foot or two apart. What's gonna happen there is they're gonna grow into each other, a couple of them are gonna die off, and you really could have saved money by only buying one or maybe two. Also, if you plant those too close to your home, you're gonna have a trimming nightmare. And unless you own a hedge trimmer and you like using it all the time, you might wanna opt for a smaller bush to stay smaller. So that's something to consider. Another thing to look at is when you're planting the smaller annuals and perennials that blossom more often, you wanna make sure that it, it's a plant that you're either gonna be replacing all the time, like the small flowering ones, which is a perennial, you're gonna to need to replace that every year, or if it's a plant like an azalea or something that blossoms once or twice a year and it's more of a permanent shrub. So you wanna look at those and again, just reevaluate how often you wanna be re-landscaping and changing the look of your home. Lastly, is an important topic, it's mulch versus rocks. One thing to consider, if you're gonna put pumice rocks or river stone in your home, do you ever wanna remove it? It's not fun and it's hard to do. So that's something to take into consideration when you're adding that to your landscape is how easy is this item to remove in the future? Now, another thing to consider too is if you're putting mulch in, mulch is not permanent unless you use a shredded tire, which is a new recycled uh, rubber type of mulch. They color it, make it look nice. It's the, and the plus behind that is you have a mulch that does not turn to dirt later. It only takes three or four years for mulch to then to disintegrate into, uh, into soil. And so even if you put a weed barrier down, you put mulch on top of that, it will eventually turn into soil, which will then grow weeds. So there is no real way to weed proof. It's just a matter of what look you want and how easy you want it to be maintained and replaced in the future. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, you can use the contact form below, or you can just look at other videos that we have on this topic and other important topics at our website, expertadvisorsgroup.com. Thanks for tuning in.